In this problem, we are given the fact that a rectangle is inscribed in the upper half of this ellipse, x squared over 4 plus y squared equals 1, as we see in this lovely diagram. And we are asked to find the dimensions of such a rectangle that will maximize its area. So, we'll just rewrite the information that we know over here. We know that x squared over 4 plus y squared equals 1. And it may be tempting to write that the area equals x times y. That's how we usually think of rectangles, just base times height. But it's important to keep in mind that if this is y and this is x, then the dimensions of the rectangle are actually y times 2x. So we'll just throw a 2 in there. Okay, so what we want to do is to maximize surface area, or area rather. In order to do that, we would need to find the derivative of the area function. But in order to take the derivative of such a function, we need for it to be written in terms of one variable. So what we're going to do is isolate y in terms of x. So what we're going to do is subtract x squared over 4 from both sides of this equation. We get y squared equals 1 minus x squared over 4. And then we just take the square root of both sides. And that's y. So let's go ahead, plug that in right here to get area written as a function of one variable. Cool. So now all we need to do is take the derivative of a with respect to x and see what we get. There are two ways you could go about doing this. You could try to bring the x inside the radical and then work from there. Or you can just use product rule. I'm going to go ahead and use product rule. So a prime of x is equal to the first times the derivative of the second, which is going to be the power is 1 half. And then we write it to the negative 1 half power times the derivative of the inside of this, which is going to be negative 2x over 4, or simply negative x over 2. All right. Then we need to add the second term, 1 minus x squared over 4 multiplied by the derivative of the first, which in this case is just 2. So let's rewrite this a little bit, simplify it. We see that the 2 and the 1 half cancel. And we can multiply these guys together. So we get negative x squared over 2 times 1 minus x squared over 4. And then we're going to add this over here, plus 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared over 4. OK, so that is the derivative of a with respect to x. Now we need to find critical points of this, which we'll do by trying to find when this is equal to 0. We can disregard the case when x is, when x is equal to 0 to try to make it undefined. So because we want the rectangle to actually have area and not just be infinitely thin. So we're going to take this and rewrite it a little bit. x squared over 2 times 1 minus x squared over 4. That's equal to 2 times 1 minus x squared over 4. Okay. So we can multiply both sides of this equation by 2 times square root of 1 minus x squared over 4. And what do we get? x squared equals 4 times 1 minus x squared over 4, which is equal to 4 minus x squared. Bring x to the other side. 
this, which implies that x squared is equal to 2, which implies that x is equal to the square root of 2. Now, we can safely disregard this whether it's plus or minus because they'll mean essentially the same thing here. If x is positive root 2, then x goes in this direction, but it also extends in that direction. And if x is negative 2, then it goes in this direction, but the rectangle extends in that direction. So we are happy with just positive root 2. Okay. So now we need to use this information to try to find y, and then we should be good to go. So we'll plug x is root 2 into this equation over here. Or actually, we can do it right here, make it a little bit easier. Either one should work just fine. Root 2 squared over 4 plus y squared equals 1. Root 2 squared is just 2. 2 over 4 is 1 half. We can subtract 1 half from both sides to find that y squared is equal to 1 half, which implies that y is the square root of 1 half. And there are several different ways that you can rewrite this, but you can also write it as root 2 over 2. These are the x and y values that will maximize the area of the rectangle. But if we're looking for the actual dimensions, recall that we need to multiply x by 2. So in this case, the width of the rectangle is going to be 2 root 2, and the height is going to be root 2 over 2. These are the dimensions that will maximize the area of our rectangle. And that's our final answer.